the cons of being a traveling dental hygienist okay um first of all i don't think every office um celebrates new year because some of them are still in the 1940s i would say yeah with their instruments their paper charts their <laughs> i'm just kidding but seriously i'm i'm trained to like use paper charts but it's just i like to do things the more modern way but you have to do whatever the office you know has and what they use so that's a con for me um i mean not that i wouldn't some some of them are nice i'll go back to their office but the only thing i won't do i won't go back to an office that have you know really stiff cords so not only are you fighting to remove the biofilm or stain off of the patient's teeth you're also fighting with the stiff cord and it hurts your hand so no i'm not gonna go back to an office i was at one one office in january and i was just like do they know that yankee dental is in town and they can easily slide on over over there and get some brand new sharp instruments that would really help them that is the first con of being a traveling dental hygienist someone once told me why are you being a dental um why would you why would you like that you don't know what you're getting yourself into i was just like uh i'm jumping into hygiene duh i'm well trained i, I like the school i went to i think they prepared me pretty well now i know what they mean by that okay they mean um you know what you're getting yourself into some of the instruments can be dull which i've encountered and yeah that can hurt your hand and you have to like try to sharpen them and that's a lot of stress you know time is going by um it doesn't happen at every office but once in a while you'll find that office i was at one one office in january and i was just like do they know that yankee dental is in town and they can easily slide on over over there and get some brand new sharp instruments that would really help them you know and their patients yeah so arrive early i guess that could be a con for some people but i like arriving early and acquainting myself with the um with the office so i could know where everything is you know um so that's a pro actually that's a pro you arrive early and you get paid more for arriving early so that's a pro not a con um a con would, was for me when i started was being the new girl to every office and also being a new hygienist that was a con um but it it's can it can easily be a pro because you're the new girl you're being exposed to everything you know like you're learning a lot so that was yeah um another con okay that's a real con you're placed in the least favorite room okay every of the other every other hygienist have already selected a room that they like that they prefer so you're stuck in the not so great room because i literally walked in the office and this girl walked into this room with me and she was just like yeah, so the cabochon doesn't work in that room, and yeah, and later I found out that the x-ray um, head was just like floating around whenever you're trying to take an x-ray, so that was, yeah, they had to like, I was like, I'm, I can't, I can't take x-rays in this room, I can't be taking x-rays and exposing, you know what I mean, that's not safe, so I was just like, the cabochon not working I could take because I know what to do, but the x-ray head floating around, I was just like, no. I not taking extras in this room. Um, some people don't. Yeah, I already said that. Now that you, yep, dull instruments, leaky room. I literally got into a room. They put me in a room, and there was like water leaking from the ceiling. So that was not fun. Um, and I finally like realized. So I went to this office where, like, that office that had like really stiff cords. So. When I would pull my handpiece and try to like, you know, remove the stain or biofilm off of my patient's teeth. Um, excuse me. I quickly realized why, like how annoying I can be sometimes when I'm like, I'm, I'm at work, I'm happy, you know, like I, I love what I do. And then there's this dentist, like I was in the room and he was like so happy. I'm like, oh my God, he's draining my energy. I'm working with the stiff cord, like the instruments are not that great. Like, they're small, but they're not dull, but they were just, like, tiny, like, compared to what I'm used to. Like, my instruments are, like, this thick, that's just what I'm used to, but his instruments were, like, smaller. And I'm like, oh, so that's how annoying I am sometimes when I'm at work. I'm not happy, I'm doing my work. And then now this happy dentist is just sitting next to me being happy, and I'm just like, I'm miserable here. 
my tools are not working like I want them to, you know, so I kind of realize what I look like sometimes to other people. <laughs> okay. Um, oh yeah, the rooms that they put you in, sometimes they are small. Um, like I said, it's the least favorite room. Everybody else have chosen their room, so you put it into a room that nobody else wants. So that's your room. That's, sometimes there's no space behind and you just gotta make it work. And I think that has helped me a lot because now I've learned to like, I know how to like move around them, you know? So it's a con that can be a pro.